there. I'm gonna listen to a bit of music to get myself prepared. Today I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna, it's always the first one that's the hardest, not the hardest, but always the first one that takes the most doing, I don't know, doing, wait there. So I don't have a mirror for a start, so we're gonna use my phone. My skin's also really oily at the minute, I don't know why. I've been like, using my skin care every day because, so let me just like update you on like where I am, what's been happening. So I'm in France at the minute in my apartment, talking with my hands a lot. I'm in France at the minute. Uh, I was obviously away all summer in Spain and I don't think I've uploaded a video since June so or July I don't know but it's been quite a while so I need to get you all like I need to I just wanted to make this video just to like put the ball rolling to make a start again also I basically was working and I had to wear a mask and now in university we have to wear masks as well my skin doesn't doesn't thank me for it at all so I'm kind of on a wee bit of a skin journey with this but <laughs> We're just gonna keep going with it. Um, you know, everything happens at its own pace. Everything takes its own time. I'm just being patient with it. Tonight, though, this is the reason why I started the video because tonight I am going to, it's Monday night and there is a river cruise for any of the students that are here on a year abroad. It is at half seven and it is quarter to seven now so I am in a bit of a rush. Is this a focus? Yeah it is. We're gonna make it in time. Have about 30 minutes. First of all, Spain was so much fun. I had the best summer ever. It was so... actually it was crazy. It was... a lot of things happened like unexpectedly and I think it made me like grow up a lot in certain aspects of my life <laughs> i also i'm really glad that i didn't also like how pale this looks it'll all come together don't even like don't even there were certain parts of it that were like literally the best times ever and then there's also parts that like nobody would say whether i was vlogging or not and it was quite tough sometimes especially um so basically i was working in a hotel for um from june to september and i was working the teenagers kids um it definitely made me grow up a lot i think having like that responsibility uh which is a very good thing it prepared me to come to france i think also i was meant to go home before i came to france which i didn't do that's why i have like no clothes or anything i'm going home in a couple of weeks but my mum has just sent me over clothes that are meant to be arriving this week i hope for now i'm just literally going with the clothes that i brought to spain and then i ordered like a few things off azara but like that's it so i just have to go with it it's really living in the moment you know spain was absolutely beautiful and brilliant and it was hard work it was like six days a week working so now that i'm in university it's like i'm only in like a couple of hours four days a week so it's so good to have a bit more time um i've been in France I think for about two weeks now and I've just started all of my courses and everything and I've obviously moved into my apartment in more future videos I will do like a little video of my apartment it's quite cute last weekend so today's Monday just the previous weekend there I went to Marseille uh, which is like the second largest city in France before after Paris and then Lyon is third and I went with some of the girls and we went to Cassis which is a beach down the south of France like kind of a beach um river type of thing and oh my god it was absolutely beautiful I took like one little snippet of the water so I will include that here You can see the water was literally like crystal blue and turquoise. It reminded me of Thailand. If anybody ever gets the opportunity to go to 
Cassis in the south of France, you should go for it. So we just took the bus down, myself and three of the girls from the course, and it was absolutely brilliant. We stayed in a little Airbnb. It was such a French vibe that I felt like I was the main character of a movie. <laughs> so anyway, in regards to life, I probably could have vlogged this summer. I was working a lot, like it was actually a lot more work than I anticipated. It was just long days and then I just really didn't feel like I wanted to come home and pick up the camera and start vlogging, especially when I look like shit nine out of 10 times of the week. Now that I have a bit more time and I've got myself in kind of moved into France and everything, I decided to start up again. I have a lot of little trips planned over the next couple of months and into the next year. So I hope you look forward to that. That's basically my main aim for this channel as a whole. You know, I just want to travel. I want to bring you along with me and fashion is my main source of interest. So especially in university, people like dress so cool here like people get so dressed up just to go to university i would only be in say from like 8 till 11 or 12 so then i have the rest of the day to go wherever i want and do whatever i want i'm also having a glass of wine my nails are so fucked up i've got some nail polishes today because i need to do them myself um until i go home to get them done or whatever so i've just been like kind of DIY in it. I got my eyebrows done last week for the first time in about two months and holy shit, they were terrible. They were so bad. So I'm just going for like quite a casual little makeup look. As it's still, today it was quite rainy. This is the first time it's, all well actually the other day it completely pissed down. There was like thunder, lightning, everything. And I was obviously walking with no coat, no umbrella or anything. Uh, but we live and we learn. So tonight I hope it just doesn't rain and if it does rain I hope there's like a little type of... <laughs> One of the girls told me today she was like I couldn't think of the word for the cover of a boat so she called it a lid. She was like I, ho I hope there's a lid <laughs> over the boat and I thought that was hilarious. I think I also wasn't vlogging for a while because I was quite like oh I didn't really post that much on social media, on Instagram or anything. I met so many new people, had the best time, but now I think I'm ready to, you know, start up again, get myself in a routine and start being a bit more consistent. I've also got a parcel from Pull Bear on the way currently to France. So look forward to some more Pull Bear content. I'm trying to think what else I could update you on. Yesterday, for the first time in two months, I did an actual workout and today my legs in university we have to like walk up the steps to get to the floor whatever floor we're on and in my apartment there's no elevator it's just steps and I'm on the second floor like the top of the building thing so it is it has been a struggle it really has although it's all for the better and I've been eating my protein and because I've been like quite like self-conscious in terms of my skin. I definitely like put on a bit of weight when I was in Spain, which is not a bad thing. I was like not strict at all with what I ate. I had like pizza like three times a week. <laughs> it was really bad and I had wine all the time. I thought like you have to just let yourself kind of enjoy life sometimes and not be too strict with what you're your diet or like anything. Obviously in hindsight maybe it could have been a bit better with uh not even to be honest because i was i was very active in work itself but as soon as i came home like i there was no way i was ready to do any sort of workout or any type of exercise unless it was going to the pool which isn't really even exercise overall i am loving my time in france so far i feel like a French baguette, but I'm really think I'm ready now to like get myself into more of a routine and get my fitness levels back up. I went the other day to decathlon. The best thing about here is the shopping. I love 
so close to a big shopping centre. It has Sephora, it has Zara, it has a massive decathlon, which I didn't know that I would benefit from so much. I went the other day, got myself a little yoga mat, got myself some weights, and I've just been, you know, trying to <laughs> build myself, um, build my strength in any way I can. Yeah, that's about it. I, I was meant to go home before I came to France. Although I had to start my university course on the 6th, or no, the 5th or the 6th of September. And my contract in work didn't end until the 6th. So that was a bit of a problem. I had to leave a few days early from work, which I could have probably left earlier and went home, but it was just such a hassle. The flights were really expensive, especially when I'm flying to France. It's hard to get like normal flights. So it just worked out better to fly straight from Spain to France and then not next week but the week after I am going home for a few days to see the doggies, to see my family and to get clothes because I've been outfit repeating like nothing normal. Although there's nothing wrong with that you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Tonight I've just decided to opt for comfort as my best as my best option so I'm wearing this top Zara my battery is flashing shit okay I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing and then I'm gonna get ready and then I will bring you along with me so I can charge it a bit before I go on the boat so top is from Zara bottoms from Pull and Burr and um, you might have seen them on my Instagram and slippers currently are from I don't know but I will update you once I finish my makeup and uh, my camera's charged a bit so see you in about 15 minutes um, let me set you here till I join this uh, my nails are so bad please don't take notice of them so I ended up just going for comfort as I said got new shoes like big Womper Converse, which I think are very cool. That was pretty impressive. The rubbish can wait. I have to get the metro to the river and then I have to go there. I don't know who's there already. I don't know if anybody's going. I literally just got a ticket to him. I will keep you posted with my plans. I have to my pen Here. You were born you were here. here. I was oh, born here a million, no many, way. many years ago. When were you born many, here? Many, many years ago. More than seventy years. Ago. That is oh, beautiful. God. Hello, guys. So, I have had a little bit to drink, but we've had French baguettes. I've been drinking white wine. I'm on the boat. <laughs> Down, and I'm talking down. to a lot of French people and it's so beautiful. I think I got a little bit of footage. Uh, I've been quite bold and daring and I have brought the vlogging camera out and it's been very good. It's been very unexpected but c'est bon. Très bien. <laughs> 